What's up YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona on this Wednesday, August 16th, 2017. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us here today and clicking that link. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated and helps us grow this channel and community and helps me reach other questers just like yourself. Uh, today has uh, been a very long day for me. I was up about 3 a.m. I think and then I worked a 12-hour shift and I can feel the caffeine literally leaving my body by the minute but I said nope I gotta do this uh, video before I go to bed and pass out which is what we're gonna do. So today is Deadpool Daily's uh, <clears throat> uh, Crash of the Titans Thank you. There's the caffeine problem. Uh, Crash the Titans reset. Every five days, a new cycle begins. A required four-star character in your roster will take on a 1v1 battle against a overpowered enemy, usually. You can see by the Heroes for Hire store right there that the required character is Max Punisher. He's a four-star. And this is the blue cover in the Heroes for Hire store, which also comes with 8 Elite Tokens, 10,000 Purple ISO, 3 Command Points, all for the uh, bonus package price of 3,600 Hero Points. So if you don't have uh, Max Punisher and you want to add him to your roster, you want to try to complete the Crash of the Titans, and you want to get some extra rewards, those Elite Tokens can get a... Uh, two or three star reward and then ISO and command points as well all for that price of hero points so in Deadpool's daily quest each of these nodes resets daily including the behemoth burrito which is this hard four star right here in the bottom left which I've already done for the day uh, where you get two command points each day for completing that the crash of the titans is this guy over here on the right with the extreme and the little skull symbol and this one you can only complete once every five days as you can see the timer in the top right corner here says that there are four hours and 23 minutes left for today's cycle but the heroes for hire store has four days and four hours so that is going to be the indicator of how long before the next reset also for those of you who are new if you go into Recruit Heroes in the Taco Vault, you also see that it says four days, four hours. That coincides with the Crash of the Titans cycle as well. There's a black cover for Max Punisher in this vault. He is going to be that required character. And then the three star that required character uh, for also the big enchilada rewards is visible here as well. So you can see Colossus. Uh, three star Cyclops Hood, who was featured in my previous video, Dr. Octopus, and three star Thor, as well as a couple extra bonus of those, and some other various uh, ISO hero points and two star rewards in this vault. And that will be available through uh, getting tokens through the Deadpool's daily quest daily missions, as well as spendable for hero points. So there are two ways that you can try to get a Max Punisher cover, one from the Taco Vault and one from the Heroes for Hire store in order to complete this quest. You can tell by the symbol right here in the bottom, it's Captain Marvel. And of course it is four star Captain Marvel. Um, she is dangerous. She's a character that I certainly want to get championed uh, pretty soon here as a four star. Um, but I'm still waiting to get a green cover. I have the command points to buy it if I needed to, but I'm trying to hold out my luck and see if I can't just get it the old-fashioned RNG way. So we'll take a look at uh, the rewards here. There's 22,000 taco points towards the daily bonus, and then the legendary recruit token flashing in the bottom right-hand corner as well. She's at level 270 as a four star and her abilities are black, yellow, and green. And uh, my Punisher is not very well covered. So I can level him and I probably should 
just for the sake of this video. Uh, let's go. I like round numbers, so we'll start with 180. We'll see if I can get it from there. And then if not, we'll go up a little higher. Uh, 180 puts him just at 10,000 health, barely. He's got green, black, and blue abilities, so two overlapping colors, with yellow being the off color for Captain Marvel, and blue, of course, for Punisher, but I don't have any blue covers, so if it was, uh, if I was able to get one of those Heroes for Hire packs, I would get at least a one blue cover, which I've considered. Uh, I might do that at some point, but probably not for the sake of this video. Uh, Punish is a black 10 AP cost, and if all allies are stunned or downed, this power becomes Army of One. I believe, if I remember correctly, that the last time this was a Crash the Titans, and he was available as the, or he was required, I should say, um, this ability did not become Army of One automatically because their allies are not downed or stunned. It's a 1v1 fight, so it doesn't take that into consideration. Uh, here's a little tab over for Army of One, which tells you what it does, and uh, basically creates strike tiles, deals damage, and then plus damage for every friendly strike tile on the board. Um, but I think it is going to be this base damage of 2396 plus 378 damage for every friendly strike tile uh, for that 10 AP cost. Merciless Charge for 10 green AP is going to stun allies for two turns and deal 2168 damage to the enemy, uh, to the team, plus 2817 for every downed enemy. Again, not including uh, 1v1 fight where there are no enemies or no allies uh, to be downed. So I think it's that base damage of 2168. Weapons Expertise, if you have that ability, uh, for 8 blue AP cost is going to create black strike tiles, strength 105 at level 1, and then passively friendly strike tiles are increased excuse me, by 8%. Um, at higher levels, um, those goes up. Uh, level 3, you get 2 black tiles, and then at level 5, you get 3 black strike tiles, and strength is increased by up to 25%. Um, those include strike tiles not created by Max Punisher as well. For abilities that matter, he is Team Cap, and he's affiliated with Heroes. So we'll try this, and Captain Marvel at 270. A Photonic Barrage for 8 black AP. This is uh, some of the abilities we need to be looking out for. This is going to convert a chosen basic black tile into a 5 turn countdown tile, which creates strength 63 strike tiles every turn, and deals 29, 23 at the end of the countdown. So that's basically almost a third of my health in one go, plus it's creating those countdown tile or the uh, strike tiles. Executive Decision is uh, probably her most damaging ability, potentially, and this one for only five yellow AP costs, it's very cheap to use, and that's part of what makes it so dangerous, is going to convert uh, one chosen friendly countdown tile to zero. Passively, whenever countdown timer hits zero, improves three random friendly trial, uh, tiles by 427. So she can force that black uh, photonic barrage tile to go to zero automatically and strengthen whatever friendly tiles are on the board because of it. Energy manipulation is a passive, and this one is going to uh, give her extra AP whenever an enemy matches their strongest color. Uh, gaining 2 AP in her strongest color. If it's the same, also deals 768 in damage to the enemy team. So we can take a look at this and see that her strongest color is black. Uh, so she would be gaining black if I was making matches. Uh, my strongest color also happens to be black. So the <laughs> I only have two abilities available to me, and the one that is gonna do the most damage per match is also going to be dealing damage back at me um, not exciting so for that reason I know that he's underpowered and I know I'm missing an ability so we're going to add in stockpile black and stockpile all which if you're using stockpile or any of these boosts make sure that for the next fight you turn them off 
by going into boost and hitting this remove button and that will keep them from being wasted in a lesser fight and let's see what we can do here um, bonus power boost uh, let's do team up tiles as kind of an out um, give you a little bit bonus and damage there okay so we have stockpile green black stockpile all and bonus 50% in team up match damage I think we can do this uh, she's at almost 14,000 health almost uh, 4,000 more than what I have so entirely doable or should be one would hope uh, so we're gonna try to avoid black if we can uh, we can get blue and green blue will not give us any abilities um, even though it is one of our colors because I don't have that cover available uh, you know, I'm right off the bat, I am just going to take this black because it's also going to match yellow. Take that away from her. Okay, uh, let's go with blue here. Now, if she matches black, it doesn't uh, generate any extra, only if I do. Uh, let's go with blue down here. And then, let's see, nothing else really stands out as good damage. We'll do this. Secretly get some green and blue in there. And hopefully, we can easily match away this countdown tile. Wow. All right, there goes that. And there's only one tile on the board, but it is strengthened by a lot. Huh, now I need to get rid of that. So let's just start dealing out damage, seeing if we can do anything. Uh, let's go ahead and deal this damage. And I thought that said it stunned. Uh, oh, stuns teammates. Yep, so that didn't help. Uh, this is going to deal 3,000 damage, base. Oh, this does say it's Army of One. Hmm. Okay, so there's Army of One. Alright, so she's down quite a good amount of health. Hmm. Still not a lot, though. We want to try to keep this one on the board. She got it, that's okay. All right, we really need to get rid of this yellow tile here. But I'm not seeing a good option to do that just yet. So, we'll do this. And a couple more matches like that and I'm gonna be dead. Yeah, not good. Not looking good. Uh, trying to avoid those black matches, of course. Not successful. So, looks like we need to beef him up. Use a health pack. Revive. Train. Raise level. And we're just going to dump to get to 209, which is his max available right now. That puts him at 11,600 health. Uh, he's still a 4-5 build. And let's see, this one now is going to deal army of one, now that we know that's what it does. Uh, 32,000 damage, plus creates two strength, 32 strike tiles. And then merciless charge. Uh, Stuns allies for two turns, deals 2304 and uh, 2992 for every downed enemy, which doesn't matter in a 1v1 fight. So here we are, we're going to try it again. We'll go same boosts, everything like that. Here we go. Let's 
So again, trying to avoid black if we can, unfortunately. We'll go green. We'll go blue. Uh, purple, I guess. Blue here. Get a nice critical match, although we did hit that uh, black match, which gives extra damage. Uh, we have bonus to team up, so we're going to go ahead here. All right, let's hope for an easy match away of that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this blue strike tile out of the way. Okay, uh, we'll just mm, go ahead with this. Okay, so that's a fair amount of damage there. Get rid of that strike tile. Okay. Blue. Lots of damage there, and a critical match five, unfortunately. Ugh, not looking good. Um, let's see. How much health do I have? 29. She is not available to use any of those abilities. Uh, let's just do this. Get rid of that special tile. Try to stack up a little bit more uh, ammunition here. Going for blue. Uh, I just need a couple more green, which would be amazing. Aha! So we take this. And then we do 2304, or 2336 with the strike tile. All right, uh, still not great, but let's see what we can do. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Mm, I think we're best off to steal yellow here. Still not great. Okay. Blue. And this is a tough fight without that blue ability to create extra strike tiles and the fact that matching black gives her extra AP and damages me back in return. Uh, definitely makes it a harder fight. So... I'm stuck. I want to make... This match here, just struggling to stay alive at this point. Her next match is going to do me in, which is not good. Ugh. We got close. Got close. I think what I'm going to have to do is try to get that blue cover. Try one more time and see what happens. I think we're going to change the boosts instead of team up. We're going to go with colors that we don't deal damage normally in, which is going to be yellow and red. Oh, not stockpile. I'm sorry. Damage in yellow and red. And that gives us opportunity to create more damage against her. Uh, still taking uh, stockpile in those abilities. Uh, for that. So, take three. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think we're going to have to take some damage right off the bat with this. We're going to 
just do this right off the bat try to whittle her down even faster create those strike tiles deal a little extra damage along the way uh, so now do this good we'll take that green matches are certainly hard to come by in this fight for whatever reason so we'll go blue we'll go green mm. all right I really don't want the red but if that's the only thing I got we'll take it red here because we get the bonus damage now blue 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 all right uh, green only one turn there goes a lot of damage and that tile is boosted unfortunately all right so we're gonna create this guy here how to get rid of that tile hmm strategize go blue here And then we get rid of this. Green. Hmm. Let's go with this. This. We can almost get her. Almost just need one more set of green uh, doesn't look promising but we're gonna do the best we can uh, stay alive one more match nope oh man so we had enough to do it but couldn't get it done whoops wrong one all right, so that was our closest fight. We're going to just rehash that. This is time number four without leveling up by getting that extra cover. Uh, so we're starting off with a critical blue first. Uh, then we'll take critical team up. I think the game is taking pity on me for all those horrible, horrible matches. Blue here. here mm, steel yellow uh, let's go with take the blue and the purple army of one All right, so for the first time in four rounds, she has less health than me. Uh, let's try to keep that trend up. Uh, purple here. Okay. Stealing yellow away. Of course, that one's in a difficult spot to match. Hmm. At least I can get rid of that special tile there. Or she can do it for me. I'll take either option. And I'll take this critical five here. Uh, let's do this. 
Yep. And then we're going to do that. Okay. We're close. I feel it. It's coming. Uh, let's go with team up here. And no good combo for that, but we can do this. And now we have enough to do the job. Whew, four tries. Sometimes these Crash the Titans are a struggle. Captain Marvel is definitely a very strong four star and uh, very glad that we were able to pull that off. We get the legendary recruit token, all the taco points and the bonus for rewards there for the daily completion bonus. And we'll go to the vault over here. Latest Legends is where you get that token. It gives you a chance at one of the last three most recent five stars, which includes Dr. Octopus, classic, uh, Spider-Man Peter Parker, which is the homecoming version from the movie, and Star-Lord Awesome Mix Volume 2, also from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The four stars, all the four stars are available that are in the game, but the most 12 recent are going to give you three times odds, and that's from Agent Coulson all the way down through Vulture, and then normal draw rate for all the rest. Excuse me. If you have bonus heroes that are four or five star in nature, you also have a one in 20 draw rate for bonus heroes. And the one I really want is that green Captain Marvel cover. I have two, and I really need three so I can champion her. That would be fantastic. I'd be happy with... Uh, Anything Cloak and Dagger, again, we got a couple of those in the last roster update. Uh, Old Man Logan, I still don't have a bunch of covers for. Silver Surfer or Phoenix, same thing. Uh, yeah, basically all these are bonus heroes for a reason, so we're trying to get those. So, one chance to go, here it is. It's a four star, and it's Star Lord, uh, the four star Star Lord, oldest trick in the book. So that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry the video is so long. Sometimes these crashes are very quick and simple, and sometimes they're not. Uh, today was one of those not videos. Um, but I hope that these tactics were useful to you. Learn from my mistakes. Hopefully you have a blue cover or two or three for your max punisher, and that will certainly make uh, the fight go a lot faster and deal more damage with that black ability as well. Uh, Army of One that you can uh, take down Captain Marvel a lot easier than I did. Uh, hope you guys uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We're already over 200 subscribers. We're up to about 210. And uh, we did a $25 gift card giveaway for hitting 200 subscribers. If we can hit 300 by the end of the year, and this is uh, halfway through August, so that's a challenge to you guys to get the channel uh, up and uh, spread the word, grow uh, the channel by another 90 subscribers in the next few months. Uh, we'll double up on the $25 gift card and give away a $50 gift card. And um, that is uh, hopefully going to come around uh, New Year's. If you guys get uh, those new subscribers in by December 31st, that'll be the deadline. We will double up on the gift card giveaway for $50. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. MPQ. For more Marvel Puzzle Quest news and updates as they come out, you can click the little notification bell right next to that subscribe button uh, for instant YouTube notifications as well. And until next time, as always, this has been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night, everyone. Good luck on Crash of the Titans.